So finally, <laughs> this better be good. <laughs> okay, um, hello, my name is Ahmed. I'm from this school, the Yemeni. As you know, I'm an ICT teacher, not an English teacher. So I thought instead of pretending to be an English teacher, it would be much better to show something related to my field. Sean has already shown so many useful tools. Um, in three days, now I feel as if I have graduated, graduated from another universe. <laughs> so much things. But I still managed to find some other tool which he hasn't shown yet. <laughs> I thought it might be useful to show it to you and we can use it. So um, nowadays I see that there are so many materials thanks to Oxford University Press and other publishers. Lots of videos, DVDs, etc. But still you might find some video on YouTube or some similar website which you might, to, you might um, like to use it in your classroom. Um, as you know, in YouTube, when you open a video, you can watch it, but you can't download it. I mean, you can't save it on your computer. But suppose in your classroom, on your PC, there is no internet connection, or somehow something happened, and the connection is lost. So it's much better to save it in advance at home, and maybe you might want to cut out some parts of the video, you might like to trim it, etc. There is a free software called Real Player. Um, it's free of charge. It's so easy to use, and I think all English teachers would like to use it. I can. I got a hint from my sister. She tells me write the name. Real. Sorry for my handwriting. <laughs> okay. Now. As you have seen yesterday and the day before, we had some problems. For example, Sean was showing Wordle. It didn't work because we don't have we didn't have Java. It's free software. You can just install it. www.java.com. If you want to be able to watch videos on YouTube or any other sites, you must have Flash Player on your computer. If it's not installed, the video just won't work. It's also free software. You can just open the website, install it, and the videos will work. But now what I will show you, not only seeing the videos, but saving it to your computer. Okay. So if I can take some of the <laughs> Now on this computer before the course, I installed this real player software. I don't know if you can see it. Because of this software, when I open YouTube, it doesn't have to be YouTube, it might be any other website with videos. Can you read that? Yeah. Well, let me make some advertisement for myself. <laughs> Maybe some funny videos or something else. You can upload your own videos to YouTube if you subscribe, but as I said, you can't download, you can't save them. But now, let me just open any of the videos, maybe a funny one. Computer, you will see that there is no such button. It came here after I installed the real player software. You can see the icon. Okay. Let me just download this video, then I show the rest. I download it. Onto my own computer. If I want if I don't want to see the view, if I want to just hear the sounds, it's possible to convert it to MP3 or some other format. You can just make it a ringtone on your telephone, or you can make an audio CD and you can listen to it in the car. Okay? Or, okay, I saved it. 
Now, if I want, I can convert it, or I can trim. Here is the trim option. This is the whole video from the start to the end. I can just say start here and finish there. That's the interesting part which I want to show to the students. They will watch the video and then they will discuss about it. Maybe for a speaking class or I don't know, they might use their vocabulary about music, about woodwind instruments. It's up to you. I don't know what you will do. I choose the part that I like. Then I say save trim. Let me save it on the desktop. I give it a name. Important part of my video. You give it any name that you like. I save it. Now here is the video on my desktop. I can just double click. just 14 seconds of the video. Um, what else I said? We can convert it. Convert. Um, we can select the categories. If I have a Blackberry or if I have some other phone, like iPhone, or I don't know what options they have at the moment, but I can also choose Portable PC or Mac audio formats. Okay, I want to make MP3 file, so I choose audio format. I say MP3. Um, I say okay. Start. Okay, it's done. I have the MP3 file. I put it there so that you can see. I don't think. It's so easy. I mean, you don't need to be an extra to use this software. It's so easy and it's free of charge. One more thing before I finish. Um, I like learning languages and I try to learn by myself. Reading books is very difficult actually. You need to practice, you need to talk with someone. But there is a software which I like very much. It is called Rosetta Stone. Can the way they, they teach write? Rosetta Stone, I can show you the website also. They have a new way, actually not a new way, but interesting way of teaching. Just as you learn your native language when you are born, Nobody translates for you, nobody teaches you grammar or all the words of the language. You just learn step by step. You learn that this is a pen or a marker. Then you learn this is a chair. Then you learn this is a red marker. Meanwhile, we are learning one color. And then you learn black. Step by step, you learn the color. You don't learn red, black, yellow, green, everything at one time. It's not possible to do it. This is the way that Rosetta Stone is using, and I really recommend it. I started learning Spanish. In one week, I learned so much, I'm shocked. <laughs> really. There will be no need for teachers, I think. Everybody will use this software and learn by themselves. Camera, camera, camera. I'm that from rosettastone.com or rosettastone.eu Now they have DVD sets for more than 20 languages, I think. They have British English, American English, for beginners, for advanced learners. Um, there is a demo somewhere which you can try without paying. I should have checked it for showing you. Sorry, they can find it on their own. There is a demo, you can watch it and I think you will find it very useful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I never realized it very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I have to say, you teach, you, 
when you look back at the micro teaching, uh, if you could, when you see the DVD, or even from the ideas, there were so many ideas that came up there uh, through all the little things. And don't forget that even though one person was, was showing you a little piece of software, uh, showing you one thing with, say, one picture or one activity, the ideas that were in it, you can take from that and apply to the other bits of, of software and so on. I had to say, I made such a long list of the different ideas you came up with. It's been a real pleasure to work with you all. I gave you my email at the beginning. I'll give you it again. Just because we're not going to see each other face to face doesn't mean I'm going to disappear. Okay. So if you are using a piece of software, even one that you found that we didn't talk about, and you want some advice or whatever, email me. It's fine. I keep my web identity as my name. So if you want to know my name is Sean Wilden, obviously, you can find me on Facebook, on Skype, on my blog. Please get in touch with me and keep in touch. I'm going to... I'll keep using the blog for the time being, and I'll add things to the blog, and I'll add some tutorial videos of the things we've covered in case you forget. And if I find that you're still using it, because remember, it's only us that can access it. Uh, if, you, if you're still using it, then I'll keep adding new things to it on a weekly basis uh, from it. But hopefully you'll take what we've learned today. If anything, you'll walk out the room less techno-afraid, and hopefully yes. use something yes. in your class. You won't believe how much you've progressed in three days. It's been Thanks brilliant. You. You've been Thanks absolutely you. brilliant. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you again.